Hello, welcome to Car and Bike. For today's story, we are going to dive straight to the deep end. This is the Audi Q3 Sportback. It costs roughly 51.5 lakh ex showroom and can seat four occupants. Well, technically it can seat five, but the point that I'm making is if you're looking for space or practicality, you might be able to pick up a seven seater for same price. Also, Audi recently launched the Q3 in the standard SUV trim as well. And it costs a couple of lakh rupees less. So here's the question. Why should the Q3 Sportback excite you? Or should you really be buying one? Let's find out. For starters, I think this is a gorgeous looking car. The main change is just to the back. And what I mean by that is while the front is very much like the Q3 SUV, it has a sloping roof line that's similar to the Audi Q8 or the e-tron. I'm in love with this turbo blue paint. It's exclusive to this trim. Also exclusive is this S-Line styling pack that comes with silver inserts, hexagonal mesh grille at the front and more pronounced bumpers. Out on the road, this one's a head turner. And that means something. You see, gone are the days when luxury cars were far and few. So for a car of this size to repeatedly do that, it's a big plus. Isn't it? So let's talk about the interior then. As many of you might have already guessed, the sloping roof line comes at a cost and that's the cabin space. Now, I am just 5 feet 3 tall, so me sitting at the back doing this and this, well, that's not going to give you a clear perspective. But I did have a couple of my 6 feet tall colleagues have a look and they do tell that the headroom is an issue. Knee room though is perfectly fine. Now, the rear seats are adjustable, both for the rake and also they move forward and backward. Also, the boot space is exactly the same as that of the Audi Q3 SUV. Now, if I were to sort of give you a perspective on how the cabin of the Q3 Sportback is, well, if you are a small family, two adults, two kids, this is perfect. But if you are someone who's going to sit four or five adults in the cabin all the time, you have something to think about. As for the experience, this feels like a premium place. The quality is top notch. The brown upholstery looks nice. The touchscreen is big. And I like how the infotainment system is slightly aligned towards the driver. In terms of features list, this has powered seats, dual zone AC, gesture controlled tailgate, 10 speaker sound system and sunroof. Though this one is just at the front and not a panoramic one, that is probably because of the sloping roof line. With 190 bhp and 320 Nm meters on tap, the performance is solid. Mated to the 7 speed DSG and Audi Quattro AWD, the Q3 manages to put down power without any lag. Also, the AWD is a solid partner for you know few of those times when you're going off the paved roads and well, you're looking for that little bit of extra traction. The Drive Select offers variety of driving modes. Put it in efficiency or comfort and you're good for your everyday city drive. Put it in dynamic 
and there's solid oomph to the performance. Getting to 100 takes less than 8 seconds. The suspension though is on the softer side. Obviously this is based on an SUV platform. Uh, it is tuned more for comfort, though I would have wanted it to be a little more lively, keeping up with the entire sport bag image that it has. Honestly though, I would have loved if Audi would have taken a little more driver-centric approach. Slightly stiffer suspension setup, more feedback from the steering and snuff fit seats so that it would have had the performance to match the sport back feel. Alright then, here is my take on the Q3 sport bag. Well, if this is your first luxury car and you're a small family, this one is just perfect. But if you're looking for a little more utility, maybe you'll be happier with the Q3 SUV. And if this is not your first luxury car and you already have something bigger, well, you don't need to think about this any further. Just make sure you get this in the exact same color. All right, this is Ninan Mirazoka signing off. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and comment on the video. And if you do like the content, subscribe to Car and Bike.